Welcome to video series number two. In this video, we will review setting up and positioning the PV loop catheter for optimal data acquisition. We will start with the PV loop catheter on the prep table, where the pressure sensor should be hydrated for a minimum of 15 seconds using wetted gauze. Next, we will connect the two interface cables to the PV loop catheter and then connect these cables to their appropriate INCA modules. Upon connecting the pressure cable to the INCA system, Conduct and T will prompt the user to calibrate the pressure signal. Click Yes only after ensuring that the pressure sensor has been hydrated and the catheter is outside the body. Because of the electronic nature of CD Lacom's pressure sensor, one does not need to calibrate the pressure signal relative to patient height or orientation, as is typical with a fluid-based pressure sensor. After the automatic pressure calibration has completed, the pressure signal will change from red to yellow, confirming that this is a calibrated signal. Next, the PV catheter should be delivered to the appropriate ventricle such that the pigtail is at the ventricular apex and the catheter shaft is centered along the ventricular long axis. Initially, fluoroscopy should be used to determine catheter positioning. Then, we will confirm catheter positioning using Conduct NT by going to View Segmental Loops. This view plots the single pressure signal with each ventricular volume segment to provide a series of PV loops that help determine the PV loop catheter positioning. In the segmental loops view, we will first determine the depth of the PV loop catheter by looking at segment 1, which is closest to the apex. We'll actually look at the minimum value on the y-axis, which is indicated as 9 milliliters here. Typically, this value should be around 12 mils or less to indicate the PV catheter is delivered all the way to the apex. That said, CD Lacom does not have a specific recommendation on this number, as varying ventricles, ventricle sizes, and geometries will change this minimum value. For the operator, please think of the apex as an anchor for the pigtail, as we don't want the PV loop catheter moving during the procedure in order to appropriately compare baseline hemodynamics to that post-intervention. Next, we will determine centeredness of the PV catheter by looking at the segmental PV loops themselves. One should expect to see counterclockwise PV loops, as well as a fairly rectangular shape to indicate quality positioning. For RV PV loops, the loops may be more triangular in shape, but they should be in a counterclockwise orientation. Recall that segment 1 is closest to the apex. Also, the pressure sensor is located across segment 3. Thus, if a ventricular pressure signal is apparent, as we see here, an LV pressure, then one should expect a minimum of three segments being used. This is the case for any PV loop study, regardless of LV or RV PV loop acquisition. If the segmental loops towards the distal end of the catheter, specifically segments one through three, are not moving in a counterclockwise motion or have a rectangular shape, then it's recommended that the operator reposition the PV catheter by either A, pulling back on the PV loop catheter and re-delivering to the apex, or B, provide a quarter of a turn and help use the pigtail to center the catheter shaft. Data quality is directly related to catheter positioning, thus it's highly recommended to optimize this position before continuing with the intervention. After optimal PV loop catheter positioning has been achieved, we'll remove any segments not in the ventricle. This is indicated by a clockwise loop, or sometimes a figure of 8, which can be removed very quickly in real time. To do so, you'll go to Settings, Catheter, and remove any segments that you do not wish to have included in the total volume measurement. From here, white text will appear indicating segments not used in the total volume calculation, and an automatic rescale will apply to the total volume PV loop. Please recall the Inca system acts as a black box, Thus, inclusion or exclusion of any segments can be done offline in post-processing data analysis. At this point, we have optimized catheter positioning, removed any unneeded volume segments, and are ready to begin data acquisition. Start by switching back to our monitoring view, total volume PV loop and indices, and you're ready to begin recording PV loop data.